Hey! Today's video, I'm gonna be making my first ever mukbang. I've been seeing these videos around a lot, and I figured since I love to eat, why not make one? I got some chicken tenders over here, fries, some wings, mild, a roll, and a brownie for dessert. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start eating. Today's story time also is gonna be about when I met Jeffree Star, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright. Ooh, look at this ranch. Motherfucker! Mmm, shit. Fuck. The first bite's always the best bite. You ever eat something or crave something? Like when, um, like if you think about a pickle and the pickle makes your mouth tingly and shit. This is how I get when I take my first bite of food. My mouth just gets like real tingly. It gives me like goosebumps. Mm. Fuck yeah. I'm going to get some of the I feel like I was doing paper. Ooh, I hooked it up. It gave me like an extra chicken tender. Gas a bit. More food for me. I think he slipped down. Okay, so to start the story, two years back, I was at Warp Tour. And, um, we had seen that Jeffree Star was there. I didn't know who he was at the time. But, my girlfriend was like going crazy and shit. She was like, oh my god, Jeffree Star is here, this and that. I'm like, I don't even know who that is. And she goes, he has like the best makeup. I'm gonna go buy some. We're gonna go meet him. Blah blah blah. And I was like, okay. I figured it wouldn't take so. I wouldn't take that long. Cause the line. I mean, like, look at the line. It was pretty long, but I didn't think it would take that long. I just like mistimed it. I guess in my head. And so, mm, fuck. Hold on. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> mm. Holy shit, okay. So So uh, I was okay, we're gonna wait in line, whatever. We got in line. Thirty minutes goes by. Like in the same spot and I was like, okay. Fucking sleeping with sirens is about to come on. This shit got to like Hurry the fuck up. Hour goes by. Still in line waiting. Another hour goes by. Still in line. By this time, we done missed like a bunch of bands and we missed Sleeping With Sirens. Three hours goes by. We're still in line. My girlfriend's all like, oh my God, let's just go back. I'm tired of waiting. I'm like, fuck no. We've been in this line too long for me to leave. We're going to stay here now. And I was like, since I don't even know who this guy is, I've waited this long, I'm going to meet this dude now. Now I really want a picture with him, you know? And so, we are waiting four hours in total to get in line. That's a fridge. That's my trying to take my food. Be like a prisoner. Okay, so anyway, we waited four hours. I got like hella bad sunburn on my head. I didn't have braids back then, but my head was fucking fried. That shit looked like the top of this fucking bun right here. Like that shit was fried. Mm. I got hella bad sunburn. My legs were tired as hell. And I missed like a bunch of bands. If I get to the front of the line, I see who Jeffree Star is. I see him like all tied it down and shit. I'm like, Bro, who is this? Like, I have no idea who this is. I still don't know who he is. Oh. My girlfriend goes first. She's like fucking freaking out happy and shit. 
took a picture. She's like all ecstatic. She's like looking at him smiling. Like I was like, what in the fuck? I know. My brother skipped me in line just to come back and see what we're doing. You know that fuck it. I'll take a picture with him too. I don't know who he is, but I took a picture. He went. He took a picture. And then it was my turn. And so I went up there. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go up here and take a picture with this dude. So I walk up to him, like, yo, what's up, going, what's going on? He's like, hi, honey, how you doing? And I was like, oh my god, like, he seemed pretty cool. I didn't know, like, I didn't say, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know, like, um, like about his pink hair and all that shit. I was just like, he looked weird. He looked weird. I'm not gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know. Uh huh. He looked pretty cool though. Like, hey, how are you? It's super hot outside. Like, hell yeah, my fucking head is like burning. He like laughed. Um, I shook his hand and shit, and then I took a picture, and he put his hand on my waist, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Jeffrey got a little close right there, so I put my hand around his waist, too, like, I did about a baby for a little bit, and then he tried to kiss me, and I was like, oh, Jeffrey, hold on, no, I'm just kidding, no, he didn't try to kiss me, but he was pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie, can you quit laughing, Mackenzie? I'm sorry, guys, my little sister's over here in the corner, she didn't want to be in my video, but she was like, <laughs> She's over here eating food, and she's over here laughing at my story. I'm trying to tell him a story. Can you stop, please, honey? Thank you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, I met him for like 20 seconds, 15 seconds, but he's a pretty cool dude. I thought he was cool. He didn't like, he's been out there like so long, like four hours taking pictures of people in the heat, and he still was like, he didn't have an attitude or anything. He still acted pretty cool. That was actually surprising. I would have thought by then he'd be like, get your picture and get out. Because I met people like that where they have attitudes and they don't want to take pictures. And they're like, they don't want to be there. You could tell Jeffrey was like still happy to be there and take pictures with everybody. He still had a long way to go. There's still a lot of people in that fucking line. But I respect him for that, for waiting and being patient with everybody and stuff. Well, um, put the picture up on my Instagram to flex, of course. Why not? Get everybody hating. I don't even know who this dude is, but I'm gonna make everybody hate. I tagged his Instagram on it and everything, and then um, all these girls are commenting, "Oh my God, you're so lucky you met Jeffrey." I'm just like, I met Jeffrey. I don't even know who he is, and I met him. Huh? <laughs> and so then I, uh, I don't work for the day. I was fucking on fire, and I googled him. I started watching his YouTube videos. I'm actually a fan of him now. I like his videos. They're really good. He has a good personality. He's like really funny. I actually learned a little bit of mad about makeup from him too, so came in handy. So when girls talk to me about makeup and shit, like my sister come up to me, tell me shit about fucking foundations and blushes and eyebrows and blending. I know a little bit about that, so I learned from Jeffrey. But uh, no, he was a cool dude. This a conversation started for me because I mean when I posted that picture, a lot of people were talking to me about like Jeffrey, like. He would see that picture and I'm like, oh my god, you met Jeffrey, and then just start talking to me. I'm just like, yeah. yeah, bitch, I met Jeffrey. Me and him were like that. Met him for 20 seconds, but he knows me. Like, if Jeffrey see me, he'd probably be like, ah, that's my dog right there. <laughs> yeah, he's like one of the few famous people that I've met. They're pretty cool. I met John Wall before the basketball player. That dude was an asshole. I took a picture. Of him. Actually, yeah, I went up to him, took a picture, and all that. He didn't even like shake my hand. He didn't acknowledge me. He just like, Tell my balls and quick picture, and that's it. I was like, bitch. Got to everybody, too. He didn't give a fuck. But Jeffrey at least talked to me and made me feel like I was, like, actually in a conversation and shit with him, you know? Yeah. I would wait again in line for Jeffrey personally just because he was cool. I know he gets a lot of hate and people say this and that about him, but from my experience, it wasn't that bad. Even though it was 20 seconds, so of course. You know, I didn't have a lot of time with him, but my little 20 seconds went good for me. Um, I became a fan too, so it's a win-win. But yeah, if he ever came in Houston, I'd definitely like wait in line to meet him again. He's worth it. I was actually just watching his mukbang video this morning too with him and Trisha Paytas. I don't know how you talk about it. Talk about fucking nasty. You know what I'm talking about, kidding? I don't like Taco Bell personally. I'm more of a like chicken guy. Chick fil A is my shit. I 
tell me down in the comments below how many times you've done this, but I've done this so many times I can't even remember. I go to fucking Chick Fil A on Sundays all the time. I'd be so mad too. Like one time I came home from the mall and I was like, man, I want some Chick Chick Fil A like bad. So I drove home from the gallery, I think. And I was like, I'm gonna get Chick Fil A. I'm gonna get off the highway and go. Got off the highway, my stomach's growling, I'm already like getting no one, I'm gonna get in my head and all that. I don't know. I pull up, lights are off, nobody's in the fucking lot. My heart like fell to my stomach, everybody's like laughing at me. I'm like looking around all lot. Like you ever seen that Mr. Krabs meme when he's like, that was me right there. I was like, today's fucking Sunday, and they start laughing. I'm like, you fucking idiots, why didn't you tell me? You should have told me I wasted my time fucking coming here. I've done that so many times. I'd be getting mad as fuck. Then I go to like Whataburger, just right next door. But I hate having to settle for something that I didn't want because I really want Chick Fil A and I can't have it. The days I want it most are on Sundays when it's not open. Look at that. Hmm. Fuck. I'm gonna take some bites right now, so I might not talk for a minute or two. Let me just let me just enjoy my food, please, because I know I gotta talk to y'all, but I gotta eat. I wanna enjoy this shit. Cooking low food. Sprite. That's like my number one problem is I drink a lot when I eat. And I always run out of my drink and I hate that shit. Hello annoying. Hmm. Damn. Got a lot of fucking wings to go. A lot of slacking. Hopefully I got enough ranch. Like I said before, the favorite thing about my video about making this is that I eat every day and I love to eat and I eat a lot. Like the faces I make when I eat, it's not like fake. I actually make faces like that and shit. If you go out to eat with me and you see me eat, I like savor every fucking bite. Ain't no bullshit. Mm, fuck. Shit got me quivering. So good. Yeah, I haven't really... I mean, I'm not like the biggest fan of Wingstop, but... As of late, I've been eating this a lot lately. I don't know why. It's been tasting hella good. This is like, get, like, Brie Wings or... There's a place called Bombshells nearby. They have some good-ass wings there. The wings are really good. I think I'm gonna start making these videos more often, honestly, because I eat every fucking day, so I mean, it's not that hard to put a camera in front of my face while I eat. Look at that. Beautiful. So glad I got the medium flavor too because I got the hot last time. I can't personally handle something too hot. I like hot food, but it just doesn't like. I don't know. It's just too hot for me, and I'd be drinking more than I eat. This mild one is like perfect for me. Oh shit! 
I'm sorry. I'll eat you in a second. Mm. That's medium, mild, whatever the fuck it's called. It does it for me. Oh, hell no. You're trying to give me more fruit. Mm. I can't take shit. <laughs> Just leave it there. Want the ranch? Um, yeah. That, that I can use. Thank you, baby boy. Thank you, girl. Yeah, that, that I can use. Oh, I'm drinking on Sprite, too. I gotta tell you, I'm drinking Sprite. I wanted Dr. Pepper, man. Every time I be going in and get Dr. Pepper, that should be tasting flat than a motherfucker. It don't even taste like Dr. Pepper. It's like fucking, what is it? Them off brand drinks when you know the like, off one. Dollar store? Yeah, what are the dollar store ones called? Doctor what? Sprint? What is it? Doctor Sprint? I don't know. No, no, you gotta go Dr. Pepper. Like, right, oh, King Doctor? Like, I don't know what Dr. the fuck. Doctor King? Doctor King? Yeah, one of the refrigerators. <laughs> go pull it out. It's pull so it cheap. out. Let me go get it. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. There it goes. Hell no. Yeah, of course it. Senor Dr. K. Dr. K. These hoes taste nasty. <laughs> they taste like fucking, uh, I don't know. But that's the shit that Wingstop be using. Because I be drinking their Dr. Pepper. That shit be flat than a motherfucker. My straw is fucking stuck to the bottom of the drink. And I suck on fucking plastic. I'm trying to drink, I'm not trying to fucking drink plastic. I'm almost done. This is sad. The sad part is, guys, in a few hours, I'm gonna wanna do this all over again. If anybody's watching this video, eating it, eating with me, let me know what you're eating all. I like talking about food. Um, if you have any suggestions for my next video of what I should eat, let me know because I'll go try that shit. Just don't give me no bullshit requests. Give me like something good, good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I live in Houston, Texas, so if you're from Texas and Houston, you can give me a request here, for sure. If you're, like, from California and trying to try to tell me to eat the habit or some shit, I can't. But, I mean, if you want to send me it, that's different. I can heat that bitch up real quick and try it. Won't be really good, though. Actually, no, let's not do that, because y'all can, like, lace that shit with some fucking rat poison. <laughs> I have a fucking heart attack on camera and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Don't send me food, please. You want to pay for it with your credit card? Eh? Send me some PayPal money, okay? To buy me some Domino's or something. I eat that shit. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Almost done. Look at that shit drizzling off like a fucking cum shot. Holy shit. It just doesn't end. Okay, two more left. Almost done. Oh, so I still got the brownie too. I'm kind of regretting that brownie now. Mm. Put chicken plastic.
That's too good. Today's choice, it was between either... It was this or Whataburger were my choices today. Um, I wasn't feeling Whataburger too much today. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Whataburger, but... Like I said, I've been craving Wingstop lately. I don't know why. It's still my heart. It just fucking sucked me in. It fed me wings. No, I just can't stop eating them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Mmm. I'm eating my fucking mouth, you slut. Last one. Then it's time for the brownies. Get it all. Get it all in there. Just get it all. If I could describe that in one word. Amazing. Simply amazing. Mm. Not gonna lie. I feel full, but I don't feel full full, if you know what I mean. Usually I be eating full, like I'm full full and I can't breathe. And like, Duh. Excuse me. I'm full, but I'm not full full. Understand, fool. <laughs> God damn it, I'm close. <coughs> okay. You want half of this, big homie? Brownie? Uh, it seems like Chewbacca does not want to participate in this part of the video, so. Get out of the fucking shot, do you think you. Okay. Let's see what this. Brownies on the back. Well, it is gooey as fuck. <clears throat> this shit. That wasn't that sexy, but. Not that bad. It's a triple chocolate chunk brownie. It doesn't taste super chocolate. Here's some shit I eat and it's like super, super chocolate. This isn't that bad. Kind of surprising. I thought it was going to be pretty chocolatey. I'm glad it's not though. I really don't like, I mean, I like sweets, but I'm not that crazy about them. Pretty good. Crumbs. Mouth is chocolatey as fuck. Though you got chocolate crumbs just all in your mouth, stuck everywhere. <sighs> Refreshing. Woo, okay. That's the end of this video. I hope you're eating along with me. I hope you enjoyed me eating. I hope you want to see more of these videos. Um, I'm gonna start making these more often, like I said, because I eat every day, so I can make these basically every day if I want to. If I stay on my shit, which I'm gonna try to do. No promises though, but I'll try. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a big fucking thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. 
give me some feedback or something because I really want to interact with you guys and I want to just talk to people, you know, like I'm a boring person. I'll talk to people. Let me, let me talk to you guys in the comments. I'll sit there. I'll reply to you. Trust me. We'll have a whole conversation, everything down there, but leave me some suggestions of what you want me to eat next time. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune into my next video. It's been too crucial. Hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.